Welcome back to Mirroring Thread. I have a big Target haul plan for you, but this one is focused just on sweaters. So I actually went in store to Target, which I usually do all my shopping online because it's easier for me, but I went in store to Target recently and they had the best selection of fall sweaters. So I thought I would share those with you and they're all very affordable as well. So everything will be linked in the video description. I'll link all the sweaters that I'm gonna share as well as the one I'm wearing, which is also from Target and then all the styling items down there as well. So we'll get started. This is one of my favorites and is one of the most unique ones from the haul. So this is like a houndstooth. It's kind of almost like a peach color, a mix between a tan and a peach and cream. This also comes in green and blue, like a navy blue plaid. But I really like the fit of this and this is so thick that I feel like you could actually get away with wearing this as a piece of outerwear, especially in the fall, maybe not winter when it gets really, really cold, but in the fall when you just need a little layering piece, I think this would actually qualify for an outerwear piece. So I have the sleeves rolled up just a little bit because I am 5'3", but you could do that either way, they're not stitched down. And then the length on this is really amazing and it has great big pockets on both sides too. So I know I recently did a Target teacher haul for teacher outfits. This I think would be a great piece to have on hand if you're a teacher to just throw on and run out if you're doing recess duty or something like that. You've got big pockets and it's gonna be easier to take on and off than a jacket or a coat. This is one of the pullover sweater options. I got a couple different pullovers. This is a really great basic sweater. I think this is one that you'll wear a ton and you can style a whole bunch of different ways. I grabbed this green color because this just kind of caught my eye. This isn't a color that I have a lot of in my closet. I wear a lot of olive green, but this kind of emerald color is a little bit unique and just kind of a fun color. But this does come in black and brown and I think some other neutrals as well. This one runs a little bit on the smaller side, so you can see it's on, it's not a cropped fit, but it is a shorter fit, so this is gonna be perfect with high-waisted pants or jeans, and it has a little bit of a curved hem on the bottom. So I did get the medium in this one because I wanted a little extra room. I did not want this to fit like a slim fit. Otherwise, this is Universal Thread, which typically that brand runs a little bit big, so you could probably be fine getting your true size in this as well. If you're between sizes and you want it to fit the way that mine does on me, I would probably size up in this one. Here's another great long cardigan option. This is another color that I just don't have a lot of. I have a lot of the blush color, but this is kind of a pretty like lavender type color. This one also comes in some neutrals as well if this color isn't up your alley, but kind of similar to the houndstooth one, except this one is a lot lighter weight than that one, and it's not quite as long. That one is really almost like an oversized fit. This I think would be great with workwear. If you do business casual, it'd be a great layering piece for that. And of course, it's gonna be really easy to wear with leggings as well, because this is gonna cover your booty in the back. So great for casual outfits too. This has pockets on both sides, and I have the small in this one as well. I would probably be embarrassed to admit how many leopard sweaters I have in my closet at this point since I've been blogging for, I don't know, three-ish, four-ish, somewhere in there years now, and leopard is my favorite. I am starting to get quite the collection of these, but this one is a little bit unique in that it is a cream sweater, so it is not quite as brown as some of the other leopard ones, and I feel like that makes it a little bit more neutral. So this again, this is a little bit more of a slim or structured fit, so this is one that I think you could definitely wear for workwear. It would be great with a pencil skirt or a pair of slacks, something simple like that. And this has a little bit of a puff sleeve on the top too. So really, really soft, kind of a thinner fine knit on this one. You don't need a cami or anything underneath this. It's nice and soft. And I got my true size small on this one. This is the only dress that I purchased, but it is a sweater dress. So I'm including it in the sweater haul. This is a really fun fit. I love a good classic sweater dress. This one I say is on the longer side than some sweater dresses that I've had in the past. This is more of a midi dress fit. So it's gonna hit like calf length. And I am 5'3", if that helps you kind of measure for height reference. I actually think this would be really cute styled casually with some Chelsea boots, like a chunkier heeled boot as well. I did it with a denim jacket and a heeled booty, but I think this would be fun. Even you could do this with tall boots as well that would just go under it. 
I think would be really cute too. So this is a great color for fall. It's kind of a mix between an olive and a mustard yellow. This comes in blush and I believe in black as well. And this is a slim fit, but it's not a clingy fit. So I did have a pair of Spanx on underneath this. Full disclosure, I like wearing those when I do sweater dresses just so that everything doesn't have lines and is smoothed out. But I think you would be fine in this. It's not like a real clingy fit. This is kind of a poncho cardigan sweater. So this is a one size fits most, I believe. And this is just like a real oversized fit. So this is sewn on the bottom. So it does have a, some of these are like the poncho ones will not be sewn on the sleeve. I prefer that because I feel like they don't flap in the wind and they're a little bit easier to wear. So I like this that it is a short sleeve though. So this is a really fun one to layer with different things. I've done like a striped turtleneck under this. You could do just a simple black or white top like I had, but I like that you can do either a tank or a long sleeve version. So it gives you some versatility. This comes down nice and long. And again, this is a great color for fall. This would be my top recommendation if you're looking just for a classic cardigan that you can wear tons and tons, multi-seasonally for years to come. This is probably my top recommendation for that. So this comes in lots of neutral colors. This is the cream and I got my normal size small in this one. So this is more of just a classic fit. It does not come down super long, but this would be a really easy one to do like I had it with a skirt. It'd be great for workwear. Obviously you can do this with jeans and just a tank or a long sleeve top as well. And it has these really pretty big buttons on it. And then it's not a cropped length, but it is the perfect length where it's just gonna like hit at the top of your jean. Last one for this haul. I believe they're calling these grandpa cardigans now, which I think is so funny and great because this actually does resemble a grandpa cardigan, but I think it's super, super cute as well. So this is a camel and then kind of an olive plaid. I think this comes in some other color options too. This one runs very oversized. So this is actually the extra small and I still had plenty of room in this one. That's kind of the way these are intended to fit. Grandpa meaning like a big, loose, kind of oversized cardigan. So that is the intention with the fit on this one. This actually would cover my booty and in the back as well when it's just down. And I kind of like the idea of styling this buttoned and just wearing it as a pullover sweater. So obviously this is a cardigan. You can unbutton it and wear a tank or graphic tee or something underneath as well. But if you need a different way to style your cardigans, you can do that too. And you can always throw a cami on if it come down a little bit low too. All right, that was it. Quick and easy little Target sweater haul for you. Hopefully that helps refresh your fall wardrobe and was fun for you to watch. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so you catch all of our content and we'll see you next time.